Hi folks, Peter Lawn here. Recently I put out a tutorial that described a technique of mine for creating circular buildings in the game Icarus First Cohort. I developed this method of building to add some curves to my base designs, which gives me a little more interesting look out on the bases. Uh, because people learn differently, I've recreated the overall build process in a 3D graphics program called Blender, so you can see how we put it together in a bit of a different way. So first we're going to start out by building a 4x4 floor grid on a reasonably flat area. So it should be a reasonably flat location. Uh, we're going to then install a uh, center beam in the middle of the um, 4x4 grid, sort of free placement. Um, and uh, it's going to be sticking up slightly above the floor plates we put in there. And then we're going to put in some horizontal beams um, and then attach some vertical beams to the ends of them um, and do that uh, on four sides of that center beam. So you'll see here as we uh, drop the beams in, we put the little vertical beams in, we delete the horizontal beams as we go. until we get this little pattern right here, which is basically, you know, five beams um, sitting there. And so then the next thing we're going to do is, and I show you in this video how we actually do this, we stand on the center post and then we copy the, or we don't copy, but in Icarus, we drop down beams just adjacent to the, uh, the beams that we've got there. So we're going to build out a, our first quarter circle of beams tightly packed together. There should be nine uh, that you place in between those two uh, beams there. Uh, you only have to do one quarter of that because you'll watch here as we place the, um, the additional beams off of there, um, you can then put down a horizontal beam sort of in an X pattern and drop vertical beams in on the end of of the uh, the beams themselves, so so we use the, the the quarter circle as a guide, and then drop the end beams on each one of the uh, the X's that we do. We then delete the the X's, and then we do the same thing for the next um, beam that we've got on our uh, quarter circle. And you can see here we drop the beams in, then we do the next section. Vertical beams go in. And we'll kind of speed this up a little bit. You can see the pattern we're doing. So this is a lot more accurate than I showed you initially where, where we were standing on the center and doing the whole thing all the way around. Uh, you only have to do a quarter of the circle and then, you know, let the snapping uh, take over and give you a perfect circle. So this is what you'll end up with. Um, so then the next thing we need to do is lay a bunch of uh, horizontal beams that are going to basically follow the circle that we've got here. So if you see, we'll start here on this one side. We'll drop down a, um, a horizontal beam there. And we'll do that for a complete half circle all the way around. So you do need quite a few beams in your inventory for this. Um, but we're going to just drop all these beams all the way around to the other side to get a full half circle of beams laying down like like so so then what we're going to do is we're going to put down in a vertical beam right on the seam of the first horizontal beam we've got laying down um, we'll put it just so it snaps there okay, well it won't snap this will be a free placement that you'll be doing um, and in, in the original video, you can see how we do that. Uh, then we'll delete the, the horizontal beams we placed. Again, we'll go free placement. We'll drop another vertical beam in there. Then get rid of the horizontal beam. And so on and so forth all the way along as we go. So you do reclaim some of the beams as we go. And um, I'm going to kind of speed this up a little bit because you get the idea now what we're doing here and this is we only have to do this for half of the circle in my original video I showed you doing you know the whole thing like this and it's fairly time-consuming 
But if you do half the circle, I found a, a new technique to complete the rest of the circle, um, which is just depending on the uh, on the snapping of the uh, of the beams instead. So which is which is good. So stay tuned for that. All right. So now we got this weird little pattern on half uh, half of our circle. Um, what we're going to do now is we are going to basically uh, do sort of an L arrangement um, off of uh, each one of these beams, vertical beams we set up. So we go two down and then one over and then we drop down a vertical beam at the end of it. And we're basically going to rinse and repeat for each um, ver vertical beam that we have set up there. We'll do three of these in kind of regular speed, and then I'm going to speed this up. So this is a lot more of an accurate technique than the original way I showed you. you um, you'll, you'll get pretty pretty clean circular building doing it this way. I was doing this in the 3D program. It was uh, getting difficult to figure out where all the parts were. So <laughs> you'll see the order's not exactly correct, but you get the idea. Um, all right, so we end up with this weird arrangement. Now we can actually basically delete our original inner circle beams because um, we don't need them anymore. And we're left with this weird and wonderful um, cog looking arrangement. All right, so now we're going to add the sort of uh, the first um, what I call the inner circle of uh, beams out from here. So you'll go uh, two beams out and then drop a vertical beam down. It doesn't matter, you know, the order of this. You can start on any one of the um, um, the vertical beams. You drop two out, one down, and then erase the um, the two that you laid down initially, the vertical or the horizontal beams. So we'll do three in regular speed, and then we'll speed this up. And in this Blender uh, 3D program, I basically just copied these. Um, you know, obviously you can't do that in Icarus, but uh, um, you get the idea. So you'll end up with a pattern of um, beams all the way around. Now this is what I call the inner circle. Um, and this is where wall structures can go seamlessly around in a circle, which is cool. So if you only have a small building, you can just use this this design up to here and then, and then just lay your floor plates down. So we're going to lay the... Uh, um, the floor plates down on the corner edge like this um, and um, snapping to that beam there. And it's going to be two floors uh, coming in like so. And we're going to skip every second beam on this inner circle. You'll notice I jump over the, the one beam. So every second one is going to get a floor plate and then heading back towards the center of the circle, right? So we'll rinse and repeat this as we go along. And now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use Blender to copy this all the way around because it's just easier and faster. And this is what you end up with so far um, with what I call my inner circle. Uh, and you can have walls going all the way around the outside of this uh, in a very seamless fashion. Now the next uh, sort of section is if you want to build a bigger circular building, you can go three more out and one down. And this is going to be uh, uh, basically you just drop your vertical, you know, get the three reference horizontals out and then you drop the vertical in and then you can delete the horizontals and reclaim those beams. Again, same thing. Can extend these out. Now, if you're on a hilltop like I was, uh, I came in on an angle for those, so it's a little bit of a different technique. But it's just generally you're following the beams all the way along. Again, I'm going to use Blender to just sort of copy these, and it, it just so happens these are all nine degrees apart for the whole. So there's 40 beams in in the circle, um, and um, yeah. So now now again you go. 
it's it's easy to start with an existing floor plate and then extend out to a beam so in this case here um, what i do is i i go out to the outer beam with three floor plates and then what i do is i actually build backwards from the from the next beam back um, like so and then again building out start with the inner beam and build out or the inner floor and build out and then go from the outer beam and come back in but you get the idea um, and then basically again using blender to, uh, to copy these around in a circle that's what you're going to end up with and there you go voila you have a beautiful round building that you can put walls on the outside and you can put walls on the inside and basically duplicate those all the way around in blender these walls aren't exactly the right height but you get the idea well that's it folks um, thanks for watching I hope you found this video um, informative and you can take some of the concepts here and apply them to some of the buildings you're working on in Icarus yourself uh, until next time uh, bye for now